From coast to coast and around the globe, this is NWA Power, and what a monumental matchup we have here. Champion versus champion, but just one title is on the line. It's the NWA Television Championship. 6.05, time limit rule with this one here. EC3 has a chance to become two belt EC3. Double belted EC3, what do you think, Timmy? Uh, you know, final form. That's what he okay, said, man, final, he form. Say final form. He said it's one step in the right direction. EC3, or as he's known in some parts, E3EC. E3 That's why you got to come to these shows in person, folks. <laughs> Bell has rung, and here we go. EC3, his title, the national championship, not on the line. But at this point, EC3 is scheduled to defend the national title against Thrill Billy Silas Mason at the Crockett Cup. That'll be on night one on June 3rd. The conclusion of the Crockett Cup on June 4th on pay-per-view, on fight. Tickets and information available at nwatix.com. But Tom Latimer has a big task in front of him. He could be losing that television championship tonight here on Power. Well, hold on a minute, or a second, because this match is a 6.05 time limit. So Tom's belt is on the line. Correct. Yeah. But EC3's belt is not the line. Also well, correct. That doesn't, that doesn't seem very fair now, does it? Well, you know, Tom's a fighting champion. The television title, we are here on our television program, NWA Power. He's got to defend it on this program often. And Tom's made it very clear. He wants to defend it against the top-tier talents here in the NWA and basically anywhere in the world. He wants to defend it against the best of the best. And you have to agree that EC3 is one of those. Oh, without doubt. And, and these guys have a little bit of a history, too. It's We've seen some battles I guess before either one of these gentlemen had titles. Yep. So we're going to see if they, if they continue that, if EC3 kind of follows the, the goal and the pattern he set in the others. Yeah, a lot of history between these two. EC3 was trying to earn a space for rent in Tom Latimer's head. I think he got accomplished that at certain points, but Tom Latimer, we'll see if he's been able to move on. Clean break there by EC3, the over man. Well, he better get it in gear, man. This is a 6.05 yeah, time it, limit. It's, it's one of these things where a super champion's advantage when it comes to this moment. If we reach that 6.05 minute time limit, it'll be considered a draw and also a victory for Tom Latimer in the Lucky 7 series. Yeah, because it's a defense, yeah? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, and I don't, I don't, I think sometimes, I know Tom will never lose focus of that, never lose sight of that, but I think when you come into a match like this, sometimes you kind of lose focus on that 605. You get into the match, so anytime, and, and Tom Latimer, a fighting champion, is not going to, to stretch a match out intentionally, I don't think, but EC3's got to be aware of that. He's got to, he's got to keep that clock in his head. I would. I'd run around the ring for about six minutes. Which is the difference between you and, well, that about, what, seven inches? And I think that's the only difference, but yeah. that's all right. And a little tan, a little different. I don't know. <laughs> Tom's an athlete. You know, there's a lot of different things there. Oh, but look at Tom Latimer. Speaking of athlete, the head scissors with the separation. And the clock is winding down. I'm telling you. Old Trey's got to kick it into gear here. Crowd here in Highland Park showing a lot of appreciation for this style of a matchup. Yeah. Accurately pointing out this is wrestling. Tom Latimer trying to get EC3 down, perhaps looking for that cross face, that cross face he's been using to win a number of his matches as of late. EC3 also has that devastating submission move, the purpose. Here we go. Blocking the hip, that hip toss. toss. Tom Latimer puts on the brakes of his own. Into the arm, arm drag. drag. Oh, returns the arm drag. And we are at a stalemate, ladies and gentlemen. It's a main event match anywhere in the world, and you're getting it right here on NWA Power. See, now right here, if Latimer just kind of rolls out of the ring and takes some time, he's going to kill some more time off the clock. And he we've seen former champions do that. Yeah. I just don't think Tom Latimer will. The crowd, the yeah. crowd is saying. Yeah, let, I feel like a lot of this crowd coming up from Chicago. Yeah. They like a good old-fashioned Donny Bro. Oh, they're getting it now. Oh man, savages! Here we go. You see three looking for it. Oh, gets the knee to the face. And the national champion 
Big clothesline. Into the Fez press. What's he going for here? Splash. Not electing to go in for the cover. That clock is ticking, EC3. Oh, up on the shoulders. Raps is looking for that 1%. Big clothesline. E3C is in some trouble here, Timmy. Oh, man. Big clothesline there from Tom. Back into the corner. Picking him up. Oh. Boom! Dropping him hard. Got to go for that pin there. He doesn't have to. He can just run till the time on the top. I'm telling you. That's you guys not need how to Tom Latimer at, operates. Oh, was looking oh, for, that head, for that finish. That headlock driver. That's how I'd operate. Ducks the elbow. Oh, Tom no ducks the clothesline. Oh, oh double clothesline. Line. Both these athletes taken out, given everything they got in this matchup here. Double count out. It could happen here. That again would be a draw. Kevin Keenan with a fast count there. Whoa. Both these men back to their feet. And right back to those punches, the fans. Oh, that's it. The bell is rung. The 6.05 time limit has expired. What did I say? That's the rule, though. That's, uh, the, it, rule. that's the rule. And this technically counts as a victory for Tom Latimer. That makes a third victory in the lucky seven. I mean, the problem here is there is no let them fight. No, I mean, that's, that's the It's a 605 time limit. And still, two champions stand in the ring. Tom Latimer, the television champion. Even Tom saying, I want five more minutes. And Billy Corgan, he's saying no. He's saying per no. President William Patrick Corgan, I have been told that the 605 time limit rule of the TV title is steadfast. Yeah. Tom Latimer has successfully retained the championship. This match will not continue. Not even Tom Latimer's broken hearted about this, folks. Once again, welcome to NWA Power. We got more action in store for you. Stick around. Gentlemen, we have a very special announcement for you. I know we've been talking about it for weeks at this point, but the NWA versus AAA, part of the world, is a vampire festival in Mexico City. You are going to be seeing some of those matches this Saturday as part of our broadcast where we would be airing NWA USA. You are going to be finally able to see some of the best matches that yeah. I have ever seen in front of 30,000 people at the Foro Sol Stadium in Mexico City. It's incredible, but you hear the music. We've got matches. Let's get to it. The following match is one fall with a 10 minute TV time limit. Introducing first, from Carnival Y, this is Yabo the Clown. You know, we've already heard it from uh, NWA President William Patrick Corrigan. Yabo the Clown was so impressive at NWA 312. Getting another shot to show off here in the squared circle in the NWA arena. What a hard fought match against Kratos. And he's going to have a huge task on his hands going up against an absolute legend. And his opponent from Bristol, Tennessee, he is one half of the legendary Rock and Roll Express. This is Ricky. Martin! Oh, wait a minute. 
you saw Ricky Martin go back to the curtain. He was peeking on through. Who do you think he was looking for? Well, you think he was looking for Robert Gibson or Kerry Morton or who? Maybe. There's no telling. Oh, rock and roll rigor mortis. I think it's got to. I think it's got to be he's looking for his son. I mean, I, you know, we haven't until recently we've seen those guys together all the time. Well, last time we saw Karen, he was by himself, was he not? Absolutely true. Yeah. Well, and I tell you what, the shirt that, that Ricky Morton is wearing is, says it all because that man loves professional wrestling. Yeah, so much. Also loves his son, though, which is kind of heartbreaking that for some reason there's some sort of division between those two. But Yabo the Clown. I'm sure Ricky Morton's had some experience fighting clowns in the past. And most of them not wearing clown suits. No, I mean, this guy, Yabo, is... Wait a minute. Oh, apparently he's got that's something a for gift. Him. Yeah, all right. That was nice of him. Oh, it's, oh, we're gonna do a balloon? Yeah, give him a balloon oh. animal. I don't think you can make an animal out of that one. I'm sure you could. Take the balloon. It's only nice. It's a gift. You know, one of the well, things you hear in wrestling, take the balloon. Take it. Yeah, see? Oh, that tricky clown. Oh, my gosh. He completely flattened the foot. Uh-oh. Oh, the Them fighting words. Upset. Oh, wow. Oh, I challenge you to a duel. They got him by the tie. You can't hit him. You can't hit him, though. Why not? Because he's Ricky You're Morton. Okay. Well. Ricky Morton. Oh, oh face into first. the boot. Into that clown shoe. Yeah. Into the big boot. Into the flat part, which might, yeah. be, a we might be a weapon. Not at this point. It's flat. That's what makes he it a weapon. He deflated the boot. It was a loaded boot earlier. Now it's a deflated boot. Are you following? Was the balloon loaded? Because it's deflated. Well. Oh, what'd he get? Wait, what'd he get? Wait a minute. What is, what'd he get? What's he Yabo doing something. now? Yeah, what's he calling a poltergeist? What the hell? Whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. Wait a minute. He's got oh, a leg wait, across the not, eyes. He's no, blind no, no, to He's blind to Ricky Morton with that damn ligature. Wait, is that illegal? I'm, Absolutely it it's is. It's not a choke. Well, he just took it out of nowhere, right? Scott Wheeler, I think he might have a little phobia of clowns here. Good. Not being very aggressive. Here we go. Knee lift. Oh, and a knee li oh wow. Oh, my gosh. Boy, what a knee lift by the legend Ricky Morton. Just about knocked him out of his clown shoes on that one. Oh, stagging him up. Oh, using the ropes. Using the ropes. Oh, my oh. God. I can't believe it. He stole one. He stole one. Touch. Yabo the Clown! What? What an upset. I can't believe it. Yabo the Clown. Oh, Yapsky. He doesn't even know he won. Look at him. He might know it now, but... Got his giant clown shoes on that middle rope. Is Had this enough a joke? Here comes Carrie. Oh. Here comes Carrie. And a brand new tank top available at the shop, by the way. Just thought I'd let you know. Carrie obviously also upset about what happened. But Ricky's saying, where were you? You weren't here. He can't be any more upset than Ricky is. I'd well, maybe Carrie's saying, what? why right. do I got to save you from a clown? What's the matter with you? Listen, we, we got to keep things moving along. We got to take a break. We'll be right back with more action here on Power. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can have your very own symbol of excellence as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory as well as the updated version featuring the UK plate. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelt.com NWA. 
What's the gig? Danny Deals, Danny W Deals, Triple D, the deal machine, whatever you want to say. Hanging out at the remote deals house. These wall banners right here. You know you want this on there. Huh? Hey, boss, what's happening? Hey, oh, T.Y. Wyrus, what's down? Oh, it's Candy. Dark Candy. Candy, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. Look at this poster. We got this poster signed at 312. We got it signed at 312. Also, the deal machine snuck in last night. Actually, I made Gag sneak in, and uh, he ripped off all the turnbuckles. We're making everybody sign them right now. We're going to put those up online. I'm not going to tell you what they are. I wanted $500. I think Candy wants at least half. It doesn't matter, because you have to go to nationalwrestlingalliance.com and hit the shop button. They're all Candy approved. Go there now! Please welcome Aaron Stevens and BFT. Aaron our road together has sometimes been amazing and sometimes been heartbreaking. But did I have something to do with you becoming manager? Because I think I deserve some credit here. You deserve some credit. Speaking yeah. of credit, what about those past due bills? What about all that, you know, credit cards or statements when we were almost, we had a joint account, the joint account, yeah. Credit, well, hey, you said it, so I don't need to give you credit. Moving on, what you got? Oh, thank you so much for that, Aaron. You're welcome. That's the credit I get? Apparently so. Oh, okay, so let's talk about managing, because apparently you've pulled another major coup. A coup. You call this a coup? I want you to look to your right. Six foot four, 255 pounds, got a pit bull bark in the jaws of a shark. I don't have to say anything about him because his actions speak for himself. Look to my left. Six foot seven, 270 pounds. He will attack you from the floor, the mat, or the air, and he just don't care, and his actions speak for himself. I said it before, the three of us are three men that do not subscribe to the laws of pro wrestling. We take what we want, we get it. We get it through blunt force trauma. Okay, Aaron. Thank you so much. The interview is over. Ladies and gentlemen, from Hell's Kitchen, New York, this is Bully Ray! Always excited to see Bully Ray in an NWA ring. Kyle Davis has an opportunity to get some thoughts from the two-time Hall of Famer. Now Bully Ray, he has got a ton of fans here in Highland Park. Pretty much anywhere in the world, everywhere, I guess. Everywhere, yeah. Everybody loves Bully Ray. You sure about that? Well, not everybody, but yeah. enough people in this room for sure. And I'll tell you. Bully, obviously, everyone loves you everywhere you go. However, as of late, we have seen you get under the skin of some individuals in the National Wrestling Alliance. And obviously, you just know how to push the buttons. It's how you've gotten where you are today. And I just have to ask you, is there an intent there with maybe driving Tom Latimer recently to the, to the edge during your match with him? Um, I don't apologize very often for what I do in the wrestling business. There's a rhyme, there's a reason. There's always something. But I'd like to apologize to Tom Latimer. Before NWA 312 that aired live on Fight TV... NWA owner, president, Billy Corgan, came up to me and he's like, Bully, can you please say some stuff about Tom Latimer? And I looked at him and I said, Billy, are you sure about this? And he goes, yeah, why? Give me my microphone. And he said, yeah, why? And I said, because, Billy, I'm going to be really honest about what I think about Tom. And Billy's like, perfect, because that's what I want here in the NWA. I want honesty. I said, Tom, I know all your strengths. I know all your weaknesses. I've been following Thomas's Latimer career from the day he started. This kid has it. Thomas Latimer, that man has it. But there's only one problem with Latimer. He gets in his own head. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can ooh me, but you guys know it's true. He gets in his own head entirely too much. It's easy to rattle his cage. And that's exactly what I did. 
I brought that NWA television championship in the ring. He grabbed it from me, and I dared him to hit me. And I said some things about him. And he got disqualified because he got in his own head. Tom, I did it for a reason. I did it because I want to see you become the biggest success in this company you can possibly be. I believe in you. Every NWA fan in here believes in you. And if you don't believe me, watch this. Do you guys believe in Latimer, yes or no? And that's why I had to teach you just a little bit of a lesson. Keep it cool, keep it calm, because one day, Latimer, you will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. All right, well, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Daisy Kill, the killer of daisies, killer of giants. He's got that ukulele. Talk about another guy who's good at pushing buttons, Daisy Kill. Yeah. This young man. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing out here. I could tell Holy you somebody. Ray, this is Daisy Kill. Daisy Kill, I don't know if you know what you're doing, but this is Bully Ray. Oh, I know very well who Bully Ray is. In fact, I'm, no, sir, you know, I would love you to stay. I'm a big fan, and in fact, I'm such a fan, I, I wrote a little song for you, if I that may. Was nice. Do you people want to hear a song for Mr. Bully Ray? Let's hear it. They're liars. Chicago is notorious liars. Liars and scumbags. Bully Ray, I remember the day when you and I first met. I tried to be a man and shake your hand and treat you with respect. What? But basically, you said to me everything I said sucked. What? I should have been better, come up with something clever, a catchphrase like, what up? <laughs> well, as you near your golden years, your time getting to an end, You'll find yourself alone at home because you have no friends. No one to care for you, be there for you when you're miserable and sick. And everybody fights you and nobody likes you. I'm sorry, you're just a dick. Whoa. Whoa. Can he say that? Just did. Yep. I don't know if you could say that. I really appreciate that. From the bottom of my heart, I, I got to thank you so much for that. Getting it off my chest. Come on, come on. Give me the microphone. Come on. It takes a lot of guts to come out here and do that, right? Give him a standing ovation. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wow. Come on. This is the most over this kid has ever been in his whole life. Oh. Come on. Come on, please. You with the red hair, stand up. Stand up. I took a lot of hate. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Do you guys, do you guys mind if I sing a song? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. Here we go. You guys want to hear a song from me? I didn't know Bully sang. Right. Live from Highland Park. Maybe Billy can go grab one of his guitars. Yeah. All right, but I'm going to need some help. Can you guys clap? Keep it going. Kyle, clap. I really liked your song, it went a bit too long, but the people had a blast. So put up your dukes, we're gonna have a fight, and I'm gonna kick your ass. And I'm gonna kick your And I'm gonna kick your One more time, and I'm gonna kick your Ladies and gentlemen, I am the new lead singer of the Smashing Pumpkins. My name is Bully Ray. Now get me a referee, cause we're gonna fight. Randy Castillo oh, on the oh, drums, right. everyone. Hey, here well, comes a ref. Look, what Bully Ray wants, Bully Ray apparently gets. 
Here we go. There's the ref. The bell is wrong. Kyle Davis is trying to run for his life. And Daisy Kale. Oh, my oh. God. He's been planted. My God. Whoa. Oh. One hit no wonder. wonder. This match. Bully Ray. That's what you call a one hit wonder, Joey G. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, wait, that, he's got that, the ukulele. He's got the ukulele. Bully's a shredder. Oh, now that he's the lead singer of the Smashing Pumpkins, he's going to be the lead guitarist. And I'm going to kick you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Impromptu concert with Bully Ray. Incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to keep the show moving along. Mae Valentine is backstage with Kenzie and Kylie Page. Please welcome NWA World's Women Television Champion, Kenzie Page and Kylie Page. Kenzie, you're now a two-time champion, tag team champion and women's television champion. How do you feel? Um, I feel like a champion. <laughs> But honestly, mate, to just be totally for real, I'm feeling pretty lucky lately. And I would be lying if I said my heart and eyes wasn't set on NWA 75, where Kenzie Page will let the legacy live on and become a three-time champion in the National Wrestling Alliance. Kylie, do you feel this notion of legacy and family greatness as well? May, um, smell the air for me. Do you smell the legacy? Yeah, there's a reason the two hottest sisters are in the NWA. And maybe we will continue this legacy by adopting new family members. Pretty empowered. But back to you, I guess. Okay. Well, Kenzie, next week you're going to be facing Sierra for the television title. How do you feel about that? Hmm, how do I feel about Sierra? Hmm, I feel like she's a loser, and I'm 110% aware that I'll beat Sierra in under six minutes and five seconds. A little birdie told me that. Oh, all right. Thank you so much, girls. Experience the captivating story of Deborah Medusa Michelli a woman who never let her past define her. This is the woman who would be king, the Medusa story. In her captivating memoir, Medusa shares her story of perseverance, determination, and triumph over adversity. Discover the truth behind her upbringing and how she became a world champion before revolutionizing the monster truck world. Don't miss this unforgettable tale of a woman who refused to give up no matter the odds. The woman who would be king is now available at bookstores and online retailers worldwide. Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Danny W Deals, Triple D, the deal machine, hanging out at the remote deals house in Chicago with the lovely Candy. Candy, tell the people. Hey. Hey, that's what we're talking about. We got these from the pay-per-view shirt. That's pretty fresh. I'm turning around in the back. Uh, if you're a North Sider, it's really cool, isn't it? Look at this tank top. Candy loves them tank tops, you know what I mean? Look at this right here. This, hey, Gex. We reprinted the hoodies because Candy didn't get one last time. We went through all of them. Look at that. Look at that. It's nice and soft. This one's Candy's favorite. Look at that. Nice, super soft purple. You go to nationalwrestlingalliance.com, hit the shop button. Candy approved. Please welcome Sion. Sion, you have sadly lost your championship, but have you also no. lost your shine? You Ooh. need to shut up. I am a different man. My eyes are open. Losing that title could have been the best thing that's ever happened to me. When you first met me, I was standing here in a suit, not knowing who I am. Now I know who exactly I am. I know exactly what I want. Some people take a loss and they get into a depression. They say, oh, woe's me. It's everyone's else's fault but mine. But this, today, I understand. I understand what I must do. I'm tired of listening to everyone else. I'm tired of listening to Austin Idol, to Tyrus, to G's, to Clearwater, everyone else. This is who I am. I'm dressed, ready to fight. I'm dressed to take on anyone because the national title wasn't my last stop. This is now my NWA. The following tag team match is one fall with a 15 minute TV time limit. Accompanied by Aaron Stevens, the managers of champions. This is BFT Carnage, BFT Damage. This is Blitz 
Force Trauma. We're all looking forward to the Crockett Cup, ladies and gentlemen, but you're gonna be able to see some tag team action ahead of that spectacular pay-per-view. This is what we're calling a Crockett Cup tune-up match. We're getting lots of tunes on this episode. I'm I was you. about to ask you if these guys were the favorites, and then I looked to see who their opponents were. I mean, it's how do you pick a favorite out of all these great tag teams? Now well, you could just throw some numbers in a hat. And their opponents, the team of the masterpiece, Chris Adonis, and the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, the Great American Smash, Tyrus! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, these are exhibition tag team matches. Part of our series of Crockett Cup tune-up matches. You know, tag team wrestling, so spectacular. The Crockett Cup, so much history. We've got a lot of new fans with the NWA. Want to make sure they're real accustomed to seeing our style of tag team wrestling. Man, what a force that is. Tyrus and Chris Adonis. Here we go, Kevin Keenan is signing the corners. Got that World's Heavyweight Championship. Title obviously not on the line in this tag team match, exhibition matchup. Aaron Stevens on the outside. He's already taken off the $15,000 jacket. Oh yeah, he yeah means but he's got, yeah. he's got that glove on. He means business, he takes that jacket off. On the apron, last minute, words of encouragement for damage. Starting things off against the World's Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. Oh. oh. Feeling out process. Yeah, a little karate. World's heavyweight champion. Of course. Oh, we got, we got a left, left jab. Oh, feeling well, out. This is a tune-up, yeah, right? Yeah, this is definitely a tune-up. They're both huh? looking for an opening. Well, Tyrus has the reach if he can. He also has the size advantage, yeah. backing damage into the corner. I mean, that's. Not usually the position that damage is in. Damage is usually the one of the bigger men in the fight. And look at the way Tyrus just stands over him. And still, damage showing some power back in the champion into the corner. Oh, man. Shots to the midsection. Damage on the hole, but a jab. Series of jabs to the face. Oh, oh a bionic elbow. Shades of the great Dusty Rhodes there. Tag, in comes Chris Adonis. The masterpiece. Scoop and a slam from Tyrus. And a big leg drop. Pulls he back down. There's the pin. the cover. Kick out. We're so excited to head back to Winston-Salem part of the, or to host our Crockett Cup there. The Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Crockett Country. In Crockett Country. The heart of Crockett Country. Crockett Territory. Chris Adonis going for that winding up the arm, and, and that got uh, that got stopped Tag. quickly. Here comes BLT2, right? That would be Carnage. Carnage. Carnage is what you're looking for. All right. Can I just say BLT1 and 2 or no? I, I think that might confuse some of our viewers and also make them hungry. Okay. Well, that's what makes you you and me just me. Timmy Thunder, what do you think about this match right here? This is a tune-up, Crockett Cup tune-up. I'm still stuck on BLT. All, All right. right. No. See? What I tell you? Look at the strength. Good yeah. heavens. Yeah, you can say that about any any of the guys Ooh. in this match. Look at I mean, look at the strength. Oh, that look tricky at the size. Chris Adonis. Yeah. Look at the power. Sadonis unloading on Carnage. Carnage with a recent shot at the National Heavyweight Championship. Oh, Ooh. but he eats the boot. Eats the boot. He is ready. Look at him! Oh, flying shoulder tackle, takes down Carnage, shoulders down, kick out. And Aaron Stevens is beside himself outside this ring. Oh, is he setting up for it already? Yeah, he's looking for it. He's looking for that master lock. If he could get that master lock in, this match is going to be over. Aaron's trying to draft. Oh, yeah, 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 that's it. Carnage fighting 
Trying to bring his hands together. Master lock, there's no way Carnage can break the master lock. He gets right it hooked right in. Oh, Boom. a punch. Straight punch to the eye. What an intelligent move, and you know Aaron Stevens called that one. You know they've oh, practiced yeah. that move a hundred times. He's got them running scrimmages. They're getting ready. Kraken Cup, you gotta have you gotta be in your A game, Timmy. You know no, what that's mean? what that that's what this is all about. I mean when we when we talk about a tune up match. Uh, it's like it's, it's kind of like a preseason game. Yeah, you're out a, there, yeah. you're full contact, you're going after, you're just, you're just trying to make sure you're going to peak at the right time. I think you can also, too, if you do some damage to uh, the masterpiece and Tyrus. Into the cover, you, kick out. Later on down the line in the bracket, he might, you know. If damage does some damage. Uh, yeah, if damage does some damage. Carnage there you go. Some carnage. There you go. Tim, Timmy Thunder can turn a phrase, Joey G. What do you think? I think damage is doing exactly what his name says to the ribs of Chris Adonis, and now going after the trap. Sinking his fingers into there with that nerve pinch. That's a Vulcan. Well, and again, if you can, if you, right now you could, Chris Adonis' fingers are starting to tingle a little bit, kind of lose the feeling in that in that bicep, in that elbow. That's gonna make it harder to get that, uh, that master lock on. Off of the ropes, Ooh. oh, big back elbow, my goodness. He was ready for it. Into Big the cover, D. lateral press and kick out by Adonis. Aaron Stevens thought that was it. He thought this match was going to be over. I think he'd already gone into the celebratory dance. Tag is made. In comes Carnage. Aaron Stevens on the outside. He's got that sunk in there. He can put oh, him yeah, out with that. He can put him asleep. In, that cinched in deep. Cutting off the blood supply. Yeah, maybe to the a little too deep. I don't that. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, now you can see it. I think that's legal. It is. He's yeah. got it. Yeah. Let him know, Aaron. Let him know. Aaron not making any friends here in Highland Park for sure. Yeah, he's, he's not, not looking for friends. He's a mastermind. He's trying to guide his team to victory. And sometimes making friends is that's not what it's about. Coming off the roof. No. Beautiful drop Big kick. drop kick. Wow. Damage? No, carnage. Carnage. There we go. Tyrus wants in. Look at him. He's shaking. He's shaking over there. He wants in so bad. Look at him. He's calling for him. Yeah. Carnage better pull him to the other side of the ring. I mean, I'm just making an observation. Well, there you go. That helps. Oh, that is. Shot to the face. Yeah, get him out of the and ring, there's ref. there's the distraction. And brings Chris Adonis back into the enemy's corner. Clean tag. Eric. Aaron Stevens has these guys are a well oiled machine right now. He's got them, he's got them together. I think they can make a deep run. They can make a deep run. One hundred percent, they could. And that the thing is, the advantage right now is they truly are a team. While Tyrus and Adonis are, they're starting to develop that. They're great individual athletes and they competitors, but they got to develop that teamwork a little bit. And again, that's that's what this these kind of uh, tune up matches are for. That's definitely a disadvantage for them. A clubbing blow. From damage. And Coming in full steam. Oh, shoulder first at the turn. But the tag is oh, made. There's the tag. tag, is made. There's tag Here out. comes the Manster. Carnage now the legal man. Take it off his feet. Big clothesline. A second that one. That is a fired up Cyrus. Yeah, the world's heavyweight champ. Look out. And the two legs. He just threw a 280 pound man across the ring. 1080 pounds. Ten hundred, wow, boy. Oh my God. Am I wrong? Oh, but here we go, crushing him in the corner, the Manster. Oh, he's got that claw. He's looking for that tongue and death grip. He's got Better him by the goozle. Oh. Up and down. Short, but here comes Aaron. What is he here doing? Comes Aaron. He's, he's providing a distraction, that's for this sure. This is a terrible this idea. Match was over and won by Tyrus. Oh, he's, he's loaded up that, that glove. glove. Wait a minute. He's, maybe he's got something in there. Yeah. Watch out, Tyrus. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Aaron doesn't oh, care about this qualification. Yeah. Got to be careful. Don't let. Oh, there oh, it is. No. Masters. <laughs> the master lock. The master lock is in. It's in deep. Oh, it is. Aaron Man. Stevens is fading. Aaron Stevens is out. He's not in this match. He's just the manager. Tyrus battling for his life on the outside against Carnage. Well, he might not be in the match, but he's sure in a master lock, and he looks oh, like he's, he's, he's got to be done. But he's, he's gonna be gonna these guys are going to be counted out. Wait, wait, wait. He's up to a count of nine. Count of ten. That's it. 
I mean, that, that's, that's a double count out. Tyrus was the legal man, as was Carnage. Well, okay. Uh, Aaron Stevens providing the distraction. We do not have a loss for BFT, but I mean, it is a double count out on this Crockett Cup tune-up match. All right, folks, we, on this Saturday, we will see you in Mexico. Part of the world is a vampire festival. It's gonna be fantastic. See you then. <laughs>